Today's Origo 3.10 is introducing feet. So what do you know about the unit of measure called a foot? So I know that when I measure it, it's usually using a ruler. So how long do you think it is? So you can just think that out loud, but I know that a ruler is 12 inches long, which makes one foot. Then it says the foot was once used to describe the length of a man's foot. So maybe that's how they got their name. So one foot is 12 inches. So the, probably the person that they measured their foot, that man had 12 inches. Imagine you measured the length of the classroom using your feet. Would you get the same answer as your teacher? Explain your thinking. So if I measured with my foot compared to some of you, I do not think I don't think we would get the same answer now let me tell you why because we all have different sized feet so we're not all gonna have the same measurement of the classroom if we were to all do that next it says these days the foot is a standard length rulers are often one foot long use orange pattern blocks to measure the length of your ruler since we don't have these things at home we're just going to go ahead and skip that part but we'll go ahead and look at what they talk about it says what do you notice and then it says what could you write to describe one foot then the animal says one foot is the same as 12 inches, just like we talked up above. So we know one whole foot, the size of a ruler is 12 inches. Next, it says, what are some things at home that measure about one foot long, one foot wide, or one foot thick? So long, when it says one foot long, it means tall. So what's one foot tall? And they, one thing that they said was, a wooden spoon is about one foot long. So wide means sideways, horizontally. How wide is it? And they talked about a big book could be one foot wide. And then it says one foot thick. So if you have something that's kind of 3D shaped and it pops out, then that is, that's what they're talking about, the thickness of it. And they talked about the mattress being about one foot thick. Then it says, on step up, look around the classroom, then write some objects that you would measure in feet. So because we are not in the classroom, I want you to just walk around your house. So look around the house, then write some objects that you would measure in feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around my house that I'm in right now, and I could measure the car the rug in my house so i'm going to do a bullet i want to put rug something else i can measure is the table something else i can measure is the door And you could list some other things too that you could measure in feet. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second page. It says find and write objects in the classroom to match each length. Just like we did on number one, we're gonna cross out classroom and we're gonna put objects in the house. So find and write objects in the house to match each length. So you're going to go around and we're just going to guesstimate. If you have a ruler, great. You can go around and use your ruler. If you don't, that is okay too. You're just going to guess. You're going to estimate what objects you see that are less than two feet. So I'm going to put my shoe for this one. The next one, it says about two feet. So I'm going to put hmm, my fish tank. Then 
then it says more than two feet and I'm gonna put my bed now you still have spaces to write some more options that you find around your home just make sure you put it in the right category make sure if it's less than that means it's smaller than about two feet means it's pretty much two feet if you were to measure it more than two feet means that it's bigger than two feet great so number three your teacher will give you some grid paper and explain how to make a tape measure use the tape measure with the width of each object so because I don't I'm not with you guys and we don't have the tape measure or the grid paper just like you did for number two we are going to guess the mate so we're gonna go ahead and not look at this direction here I want you to either use a ruler that you have at home or use your foot So we'll know, and I want you to tell me if you're using your foot or a ruler so we can kind of determine if your, your measurements are accurate, okay? So remember, you're gonna be looking at the width. So we're looking for width. And remember, that means that you're not the length, not the long side, not the shorter side how wide you're looking if your object is 3d so like a mattress that they mentioned earlier you're looking to see how long that side is so for example on desk you can look at a table or if you would like you can choose something else and just rewrite what it is that you're using and you'll go over and measure that. So we just won't use the whiteboard or the desk unless you have those things at home, you can use that. And then you can use a ruler or your foot to go and measure those three different objects that you choose. Lastly, it says complete the table, then write how you found the missing numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and just talk about this table really quickly. It says one foot equals 12 inches. Well, we know that because we've learned that already during this lesson that one foot or one ruler has 12 inches on that. So now let's think about this way. If I had two rulers, I would have 24 inches. If I had three rulers, I would have 36 inches. So they're adding it, they're doubling. So they added 12 plus 12 because let's come over to the side and add that. 12 plus 12, two plus two is four, one plus two is 24. So they added it again. So now I know I'm gonna add another ruler to 24. So 24 plus 12, Okay, so 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 plus 1 is 3, so just like I said, 36. So now you have to figure out the last two. And then when you're finished, remember this is something that you do not have to do. This is a may do. And if you would like, you could upload a picture of what you did.